You are what I'm looking for. Sometimes I get into a crafty slump and I'm not sure what I want to do or create, but I know that I'm missing being in my craft room and making stuff. So my favorite place to be inspired is Hollow Tree Hobbies. I hop on their website, I take a look at what Kim has in stock on her website and you can guarantee I can always find something that inspires me that I want to create with. So today was one of those days. I had splurged a little bit, did some shopping on some beautiful Lawn Fawn products that I had my eye on in Kim's store for some time. So I'm going to show you what I picked up and then I'm going to make some projects with it. So stick around, we got some fun stuff coming up. I'll also be sharing with you a coupon code for you to get a discount on your purchase at Hollow Tree Hobbies. Let's check it out. One thing I always notice about my packages from Hollow Tree Hobbies is that they are packed very well. Everything is nice and secure and I never have to worry about my stuff getting bent or beat up. They're always packed very nicely. So opening up our box here and inside, the first thing I noticed was this little package of thank you. Small business owners tend to go above and beyond, and in this case, Kim does as well. So inside our little package is a treat. We also have the business card from Hollow Tree Hobbies with the address, email, and phone number. And then I've got some of this lilac forget-me-not gingham ribbon from Doodlebug. Really pretty. And then there are some brads. These are called Bubble Blue Blossoms and they have a little gem on the top. Super cute. And then we have our packing slip, but we'll just get right into this box. Opening up this box, I have this beautiful stamp set from Lawn Fawn. This is called Thanks A Latte. And I really like the idea of building up a little hot cocoa mug. It's super cute. And then I had my eye on this for quite some time. This is the Lawn Fawn Stitched Hill Border Dies. This is a great versatile die set that you can use for so many different scenes. Okay, next we've got 24 beautiful dye ink pads from Lawn Fawn. I do have a few of them before I decided to go ahead and purchase the whole set. And I just love that Hollow Tree Hobbies carried all of these ink pads. I still have a couple more to complete the full collection. Next we have the Spectrum Noir Premium White Cardstock. This is recommended to use with alcohol markers. It's 100 pound cover weight cardstock. It's ultra smooth, nice and thick, and really bright white. So that's it for my little haul here. And I'm going to dig into these products and I'm gonna play around and make some projects. Thank you, Kim, for your attention and care to my box of happiness. Let's dive in. Project number one. I've grabbed some acrylic blocks, the Thanks A Latte stamp set, and I've got a piece of that Spectrum Noir paper cut down to a quarter sheet. So I'm going to stamp with some of the Lawn Fawn ink. This color is called Manatee, and it's a very light gray, and I thought that I could color this image in and hopefully make it look like no line marker coloring. I've stamped the mug and then I've got the little top piece for the marshmallows in the hot chocolate. I'm going to grab some Copic markers and do a little bit of coloring. I'm not an expert here and I will forewarn you that I kind of ruined the marshmallows but I still kept going anyways. So I just like to start with my lightest color and then I fill in a little bit of shading. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just kind of guess and think well maybe there might be a little bit of a shadow around you know some of the marshmallows they might cast a shadow inside of the hot chocolate and then I decided to color my marshmallows gray but I think I overdid it I, I colored them too much I think in in small images like this less is more I think if I would have left them just white or maybe just did like a really really light gray outline that would have been fine 
but anyways regardless let's move along I've colored the mug with three different colors of teal and just kind of blending it together and once again I don't go by any rules I just kind of blend and kind of make it look you know three-dimensional by putting darker on the outside and lighter towards the center kind of creating a highlight so there we go our cute little mug is done now I decided I wanted to stamp the little steam coming off the top of the mug and I stamped that with the manatee ink as well. And then I grabbed the little snowflake from the stamp set and I stamped that with peacock ink right on the center of my mug. And then I grabbed some greetings from the stamp set. It says, the first little one says you're the, and then underneath I stamped marshmallow to my cocoa. And I also stamped that with the peacock ink from Lawn Fawn. And then I decided I didn't want to make a card with this. I decided that I wanted to cut this down. I had this tiny little three by three envelope in my drawer and I thought this would be a cute little gift to give somebody to put some money inside or a little treat or something. So I just trimmed out my little stamped image and I have no specific size. I just kind of cut around the image that I had stamped and then I just used some double-sided tape runner and taped it to the front of this cute little envelope. And I like the way that looks. I also, I did decide that the top right corner was kind of missing something. Maybe I could have put some sequins in there or something, but I decided to stamp two of the little hearts from the little stamp set in the top corner. And I used the manatee ink for that as well. So that's it for project number one. Super cute little envelope. You're the marshmallows to my cocoa. All right, moving right along into project number two. I'm going to use a scrap of the Spectrum Noir cardstock that I had from my first project, and I'm gonna stamp the coffee mug. This time I'm gonna stamp it in a nice dark black ink. And I'm gonna stamp the little heart latte center here, and I'm using Lawn Fawn Dough ink, and I'll get that stamped right into my mug. And then I'm just going to take a lavender colored Copic marker and just color the whole mug in one solid color. No fancy shading, nothing spectacular, just one straight color. And then I'm going to grab the little scarf and wrap it around my mug. So I just stamped that with my black ink as well. And then I colored it in with a darker lavender and I thought it didn't stand out enough. So I colored it in with a nice blue right over top of that lavender. And then I grabbed a white gel pen and gave my scarf a bunch of polka dots. And I thought that was just a cute little accent. And I like the way that that turned out. So I'm gonna grab some scissors and I'm going to fussy cut around this cup. Super easy, it was just a super easy image to cut out. And there we go, our mug is ready to go. Now I have some tags. I always keep scraps in a drawer on my desk and whenever I have a bunch of white cardstock scraps, I cut them up into tag shapes and then I leave them in a drawer. So I'm using one of those. I stamped Warm Wishes in nice dark black ink and then I grabbed Lawn Fawn Kitty Pool ink and Fresh Lavender ink and I'm just stamping those snowflakes around. I'm gonna punch a hole and set a purple brad into the top of my tag and then pop up my little mug with some foam squares. And I thought I wanted that little steam to come off of my cup here as well. I thought that's cute. So I stamped that with the manatee ink again. And then the last thing I wanna do is add some sequins. I have some Long Fawn liquid glue here and I'm just going to pop a bunch of little dots of glue around my tag and then dump out some of these flat sparkly sequins I've got and pop them around my tag. Last thing I'm gonna do is put a little piece of jute twine, pop it through the top of my tag, I flip those tails through the little loop there and pull it nice and tight. And that's it. We have a super cute little Warm Wishes gift tag. I think these are such cute little products and I love how simple and quick and easy they are. Sometimes I think we get so wrapped up in these fancy techniques and just overdoing it and we forget how beautiful simple looks too. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll check out the Hollow Tree Hobbies website and maybe find something inspirational for you there. You'll find a link to Kim's website, 
a coupon code for a discount on your purchase along with all of the products they used in today's video listed in the description box down below. Coming up on screen are some videos I think you may enjoy. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!